Hello everyone, uh, my name is Alex and this is my girlfriend Stephanie. Hi. And uh, I wanted to talk to you today about achieving a dream of mine. Well actually not so much a dream of mine but uh, almost like a relationship requirement. Uh, early on in our relationship Stephanie told me how much she loves lumberjacks, the way they look, the way they dress, how outdoorsy they are. And I thought, well, I can't grow a beard, so I can't satisfy that requirement. But I was like, I can do the plaid thing. And then I was on Uncrate.com, and I found something that has changed my life. And it is a soap company called Dr. Squatch. Now, the story of Dr. Squatch is that uh, we all have human obligations. But as men, we still desire to be wild, free, and natural like a Sasquatch. Turn your shower up a notch and unleash your inner man with Dr. Squatch soap that's full of simple and natural ingredients your body loves and deserves. So I'm looking at this, I'm thinking, oh, we've got some serious sense going on here. Very manly, very outdoors mini, if that's the thing you can say. And I was like, oh, I gotta get this, I have to get this. It seemed like an easy solution. So here, we're going to do the Dr. Squatch lumberjack test here with Stephanie. And I'm going to give Stephanie a chance to take a big whiff, a long haul or waft off of uh, these bad boys. And we're going to see which ones she likes the best and if they satisfy the lumberjack requirements. So the first one we're going to look at today is the Gold Moss Scrub. So you can take a look at that, Steph. And okay. uh, what do we think of this? Well, well, right away, I like the packaging. Yes, it's very it's cute. Very cute. Yep, simple and effective. Very, very much so. All right, <laughs> so. Now, do, can I take this in? Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay. Buster wide open. All right. Take a whiff of that. So this scent here is Gold Moss Scrub. And take a big whiff. Ooh. What does it smell like? Smell like moss? It smells like... I'm like huffing it. You are huffing, huffing soap. It smells like, you know, you just took a brisk walk outside with, you know, some moss nearby. So you know? it kind of smells... You might be rolling around in some moss, May I have a whiff? but it's not too strong. You know, it, it's like a, a, a small to medium size moss that you've rolled around in. So okay. how many, if we were to rate this out of chainsaws, if we, like out, out of the lumberjack, five out of five being like ultimate lumberjack, where does this fall? It's, you said it's subtle. It's subtle. So um, it wouldn't be a, a I wouldn't say a full five for a lumberjack, but I do think that this would be, I would say, a, you know, three and a half. It's, it's enough to satisfy the outdoorsy smell, you know, but it's not overwhelming. It's certainly people, you're not going to walk past someone and then they're like, wait, did I, you know, take a DeLorean and go into the forest? No, it's not like that severe. Yeah, when I smell this, enough. sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. No, go right ahead. When I smell this, I think of like a, an, an elderly man in the best possible way, yes. he's about to offer you some sage advice. Like this smells like yes. the way a gentleman should smell. Definitely, and he's like, just kind of like having a cigar and talking about life. But like, then you wouldn't be able to smell it. Cause he'd stink like nicotine. No, no, no. But this is a, this is, this is for a man who is I uh, I don't wanna say subtle, but it's a man who's confident and who who knows he's a man. That's it. He doesn't really need to prove it. He, he washes with this soap and he goes, yeah, this is the gold moss scrub. It's subtle, but it's like me. You don't expect something to be ferocious, but I am a ferocious beast underneath. So we've got the gold moss scrub. The next one up on the, the docket is the cedar citrus smell. So what do we think of this one? All right, so cedar citrus. Let's take a smell of this one. If I can open it. it. You got there it. we go. All right, so. Okay, <laughs> now this is interesting, okay? Because this is like, you know, a lumberjack, oh. and he just spent the day in the woods, but Ooh. he's just munching on some like clementines after a long shift. <laughs> a shift? 
a lumberjack shift. I guess you could call that. It's a work I don't day. Know. It's a work day. Like if you're done hacking wood and hacking the trees and he's sitting down on a log and he's having a, yeah, he's a done, clementine. Just a, just a delightful clementine. A nice That's what I mean. refreshing it's snack. Like, it's like he's talking to you and you can smell the outdoors and everything, but you can also smell oh, the again. last snack that he had. He's which got happened a bit of a, to his be breath. like you know, a, a, an orange, for instance. That is that's quite a smell. So, this, so it's like this to me is it smells like a man who knows that vitamin C is good for him as well. <laughs> so he's a lumberjack, but he's health conscious. He's a as health well. conscious lumberjack. Okay. Which is great. Great. Can I smell, please? Yes, Thank you. Go right ahead. Tell me if you yeah. agree. I agree. Yeah? Yeah. So I'm so when I have when I wash with this one yeah. and people smell me, they they're like, oh that's a guy. That's I a health conscious lumberjack, folks. And how many chainsaws? Does this one get? Well, the thing is, is that I think this one's kind of difficult to rate because okay. the thing is, is that, you know, it's very lumberjacky, but at the same time, it's really not. I mean, if I was to smell that with, yeah. a, with a series of, let's say, products from another place, I don't think I would easily pick out that that's the lumberjack. Like, that's an outdoor scent. Because it, it's, it is a little bit, the, the citrus to me is a little bit powerful, but it's nice. I mean, I, I like it a lot. It's just I wouldn't say it's full lumberjack, but I, I would still I would say it's a three. A three, so it goes three. it goes down from the gold moss. It goes only down because, like I said, the citrus. It, you think more. I think more of you know the health conscious instead of being an outdoorsman. Yeah. All right, so the last type here, we'll see if we can win Stephanie over <laughs> with the pine tar. Now this one is as black as my soul, black as night. This one, I think we might have a winner. All right, take a whiff. Pine tar. Now I got good hopes for good old piney. There we go. That's it. That's, That's the, the money, folks. That's it. Right there. So this is the one. That's the one, definitely. If you want to be the lumberjack. If you want to be a lumberjack, the pine tar pine scent tar. is for you. Amazing. That is perfect. Like that is like you know you're you're hanging out. And he's like, yo, he's like, I'm going to take you to my cabin. Yo. And then you're like, oh, sweet. So not only is he a lumberjack, but he's, you know, a little bit thug, right? He's a thug lumberjack. <laughs> if you want to get on, <laughs> folks, if you want to get your thug lumberjack on, Pine Tire no, by Dr. Please, Squatch. We can't use that. So if you want to be the ultimate lumberjack, because i got to ask, how many chainsaws does this bad boy get? Okay. Well, this is like, you know... You're, you're hanging out with him. You're in his cabin, you know, he's making you some steak. He's and making steak. He's making steak because he's a lumberjack. Yeah, that seems about well, right. You know what I mean? It's like you're hanging out with him, you're in his, <laughs> you're in his cabin, he's making you steak. Now this is that pine tar. That is beautiful. That's, That's how he smells. That is a lovely scent right there. Well, you've heard it, you know, from her lips. To your ears, folks, Dr. Squatch, pine tar soap is what you need if you want to smell like an outdoorsman. If you want to fake out the world like I've been trying to do, yeah. what you need to do is get the pine tar. Exactly. And, uh, because, what... you know, like, so I mean, some of us girls, we want that Paul Bunyan type, right? We want that muscular, you know, bearded man, which is why I chose him. <laughs> Alright, thanks folks. <laughs> Dr. Squatch, check him out because it's the best.